the two different kinds of plugins here in Pro Tools. So right now we have an Audio Suite plugin open, which we'll get to in just a minute. But first we'll look at the real-time effects. Now these used to be called RTAS plugins, now they're AAX plugins, but they're still real-time. RTAS was real-time Audio Suite. And of course our inserts, which we which we of course select in uh, this manner. I'm certain you're already aware of uh, how to add insert effects, right? And our real-time effects here, our insert effects, of course, process audio uh, in real time, and we can make changes to the effect. The audio will run through this effect live, and we can change it whenever we want. On the other hand, we also have audio suite plugins, and these are sort of the opposite. So come up here to audio suite, and just to keep things simple, we'll go to EQ, but you can see the giant list of effects uh, that we have. Not everything we have in our insert effects, but uh, a lot of them. So let's select the same exact the same exact plugin here, except it's the audio suite version. So if I play back, you're not going to hear any difference in this plugin right here. Okay, bypass this one for now, close it down, and let's focus on our audio suite plugin. You can almost think of these as clip effects, although it's not the same thing. What audio suite plugins do is render the audio and give us a new file. So a couple settings you need to be aware of. If we come up here, you can choose overwrite files. You probably don't want this. You'll probably want create individual files or a continuous file, which would be just a nice long file, but we'll do individual files, different input modes, mono modes or multi input modes. You can do the entire selection or clip by clip. I'm not going to go into detail for all of this in this video, but just really be aware of your overwrite mode. You probably don't want that. So create individual files or continuous files, probably uh, what you want. We still have our presets right here as well. Now to hear what we're actually doing in our audio suite plugins is come down here to the speaker and not all audio suite plugins have this, but we can preview the processing. We can hear what it does. Now to be extreme with this, we'll just pull this way down. Okay, we'll stop that. We can also of course bypass while we're playing back. You can adjust the volume right here. And now to actually render this to the track to make a new file, we have to choose render and we can render the whole file or we can use handles. So for that, let me actually just make a smaller selection here. I would say just this area, uh, just this area right here, just that selection. And this plugin will only apply to that selection because we're not going to do whole file and we're going to have two seconds of handles on either side of this process sound. So to render this, just hit render. And there it is. You can see how different uh, this section is than everything else. And because we have those handles, I can also stretch this out up to two seconds of that rendered audio. Same for going back because we have those handles. Another thing we can do is not just process one clip, I could process a selection. So I could actually process all of these clips at uh, one time. But for now, let's just do uh, let's just do these two clips right here. I'll just shift select that one. We'll make sure this is on solo so we can hear. Do what you wanna do. Okay, good enough. Audio suite. And to keep things simple, we'll just stick with an EQ for now. And we'll come in here and we'll just preview. Now we're only gonna hear this first file. We're not gonna hear this, this second one here. So again, just to show that we can process multiple files, I'll make an extreme change here. So you'll really see that difference. And we can have handles on this or not. Uh, entire selection, that's fine. Uh, continuous. Go and hit render, and there we go. Now you can see exactly what happened there. Okay, so that's just a quick explanation of our audio suite plugins versus our real-time effects, our insert plugins. Most of the time you're probably going to be using real-time effects, but there are some cases when rendering something to a file just makes more sense.